What's up guys, it's Zach here. Today we're going to be looking at some blunderbuss gameplay and this gun is very unique in its own sense. It has a reload animation like we've never seen before in Call of Duty and honestly this gun reminds me of a, a jacked up bulldog. It's got the same damage as a bulldog but definitely it's very unique unlike any other shotgun that we've seen in this game and it's very old timey I mean you can even see like you have to put the gunpowder in you have to put you have to put the uh, the balls in you have to you have to pack down the gunpowder and you have to pour in the gunpowder so you have to pour it in and you pack the balls and you pack the gunpowder I mean this gun is very old school and we, we thought we were gonna get this gun like when the M1 irons was teased we thought we were gonna get this gun but if you don't use this gun right, you will get a lot of hit markers. As I will say that because in this gameplay, I got a whole bunch of hit markers, and you have to put the right attachments on this gun. Like, yes, there's only three attachments, but if you have all three of those on, this gun is going to be a wrecking machine, especially with if you choose the right variant. See, with the, the variant that I happened to get was the Musketeer. And the musketeer, there's no negatives to it. The only positive thing about it, though, is that it increases the range by one. Which, the range, the base standard range is a, from a four to a five. And so, whenever you put advanced rifling on it, it goes from a five to a seven. Which definitely helps out this weapon a lot, because this gun does not have a lot of range. And with the short range, it tends to get a whole bunch of hit markers. And so, with that extra range, you can definitely start to get more kills. But, the thing about this gun is that you have to be very careful when you're reloading and where you choose to reload at. And you have to choose your shots very carefully. And, honestly, this gun's one of my more favorite shotguns. Because I don't use shotguns on in this game, but this gun is just an absolute melting machine. So, I either use this gun or I use the TAC-19. But, it, well that's if I want to use a shotgun. But, I th it is possible to go... Uh, it is possible to go positive with this gun because in this gameplay I did actually go positive, which I was actually surprised about. So, yeah. Hope you guys enjoy the gameplay, and I will see you guys in the next video. Friendly UAV above. Oh yeah, one last thing. If you want to see some STG44 gameplay, I do have that. Just leave it down in the comments below, and I'll make sure to get it done. Thanks, guys. See you guys in the next video. Our UAV is online. Friendly Goliath online. 